It's Jack from B&T McFarlane, and if you've recently purchased a tractor, then you should stick around and watch this video. So let's get into it. We're making this video today to go over some of the things that you should be looking out for when you purchased your new tractor, some things to do, some things not to do, and some things to go over with your brand new tractor. The first thing we're gonna go over is the safety of these tractors. So these tractors, they are machines and they are tools and they can be very, very da dangerous in the wrong situations. The loaders on them, generally the tractors that we sell here, they do go out with a front end loader, sometimes a backhoe. I've made safety videos on both of these using the front end loader and the backhoe, but the biggest thing to remember on these is to wear your seatbelt and to remember to keep that roll bar up. It will prevent you in the situation of a rollover if your tractor does tip. Some of these tractors, the LX here especially, it's a very strong tractor for how wide it is. So if you get that loader bucket up in the air, six, seven feet with a big load of gravel, it can be pretty tippy. So if you're using this tractor with the front end loader, keep that load nice and low tipped to the ground when you're driving across your grass so you don't get into a tippy situation. The next thing you should do when you purchase your new tractor is read the owner's manual from front to back. I can't tell you how many times a phone call could have been avoided, a service could have been avoided if the owner's manual was read. I know it's a fairly long document, it's about 100 pages front to back, but there's a pile of information inside of these documents. Everything from changing implements to taking off the three-point hitch to anything like that, even maintenance and service. Uh, diagrams are inside of this and the actual function of the tractor, how to operate it, can also be found inside of the owner's manual. With that being said, if it does come to needing a service, we are more than happy to come out and give you a hand. Another common mistake we see is that people don't know the roll bar actually folds down. So this tractor right here, a BX2380, has a mower deck on it. And if you're using this mower deck going around trees, underneath trees, you can snag this roll bar on a lot of the trees, breaking off branches on your property. Although I just talked about safety, leaving this up at all times. If you're mowing with just the mower deck on or just the front end loader and being very, very careful, it is okay to fold this down. But just be mindful of where you're going. If you have any steep hills or anything like that, I would would recommend putting this back up. The next thing to keep in mind as a new tractor owner is the maintenance of the tractor. At the very least, where the grease points are on the machine, we see this all the time in the service department that a little bit of grease can go a long way in maintaining your tractor and increasing the lifespan. So there's grease points on the loader, on the tractor, on the backhoe, and probably every implement that, that you can get for the tractor will have some grease fittings and some grease nipples to put grease into. And if you're not comfortable doing the services on the tractor, they're not too, too hard on Kubota, but you're more than welcome to bring them into our service department, or we have a road tech that'll come out to your place to do them on site. The next thing to do as a new tractor owner is get familiar with this right beside me. I know looking at it for the first couple times, it's very, very intimidating. You don't know what goes where and what's going on with the three-point hitch, but practice taking on, on and off implements here. You're gonna save yourself a ton of time down the road when you really need the implement on or off of your tractor, but there's tons of videos online and your service department will be able to assist you showing you where the pins go and how to adjust the sway bar links and how to adjust that top link. Keeping on the theme of taking stuff on and off of your tractor, you should be practicing taking off the loader and the backhoe on the tractor. A lot of the time, these things, they can be hard to do in the winter months. Say, for example, the front end loader, when you go to take it off to put on your snowblower, a lot of people, it's their first time taking off the loader when it's minus 10, minus 15, and that's probably the worst time to learn to have to take off the front end loader. It's very nice to do it right now on a day like today in the middle of July when it's about 30 degrees, so you're able to get that practice in in the summer months when you first get your tractor so that when you go to make that change in the winter, it's a lot easier for you to do. That being said with the backhoe as well, when you go take off that backhoe the first couple of times, it can be a little bit intimidating to put that three-point hitch on as well. Um, I've made videos on both of these on the YouTube channel, so I'll link those down below for you. Another thing to keep in mind as a new tractor owner is where you're going to be storing this and how easily accessible it is for other people to get at your, your, your tractor. So all these Kubota tractors, they use similar keys. So there's only a handful of keys that will start every single Kubota model. So you have to be mindful of where you store this and how you're storing it. I know a lot of my customers, they install kill switches or they pull fuses or chain it to a tree or all sorts of things. But there's many things that you can do as a tractor owner to make it a little less likely that it does get taken from you. Another cool thing that Kubota has been doing in the past couple of months is their My Kubota app. This is a new app that they've released that actually shows you all the operator's manuals and all the service intervals and how to actually perform the services right from an app on your phone. I'll link it down below, but essentially all you do is you go up to the side of your tractor. You'll see now on the serial number plaque that there is a QR code, so you'll take the camera on your phone 
scan that QR code and it'll download all the serial numbers and all the maintenance intervals right onto your phone. So if you don't have your owner's manual for whatever reason, you can flip through that really quickly and know exactly what you need to do to your tractor. The last thing you should be doing, a lot of you guys might not be too happy about this, but you should be getting it dirty and going out there and using it. That is why you bought the tractor at the end of the day. So you have to go out there and get your projects done. Don't worry about a couple scratches on it because at the end of the day, it is a tool and it is meant to get used and get worked. So if there are a couple of scratches on it, it's not gonna impact the resale value whatsoever. If there's a scratch in the bucket, that does not matter at, at all either. And as always, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. If you need help with parts, sales, or service, give us a call at 613-225-0555. Thank you.